Boy everyone, March is here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, I have here with me the all new PG6 from Nike. So before we talk about the sneakers, I just want to share first the box that came with it because this colorway is actually a special colorway. I think this is a Valentine colorway because it actually came with this tag attached to the sneaker because you just do it. Love from Nike. And at the back is a Cupid. So that's a really nice touch to this colorway. And let's talk about, of course, the box first, which also has that Cupid in the top of the box. And it's actually a cutout. You can even uh, push this so that there's a heart hole here. There's a shape of a heart and you will see the inside of the box but I won't do that because I want to preserve the box and the paper that came with it also has that Cupid with the arrow hitting the ball so Cupid is actually hitting the ball to give maybe the meaning is love for the game of basketball so it's a really nice box, the pink box you can see those caricatures, the Cupid with the basketball here goes around the sneaker overall a very nice box that came with this colorway of the pg6 so here is the brand new pg6 in the cupid or valentine colorway it comes with a very teal upper which is really nice and the outsole is not actually pink it's actually peach and it's a different color from the box you can even see that color from the tongue area of the pg6 kind of reminds me of my freak 3 that has that orange look it looks like more of a peach rather than a pink or an orange i actually really like the color combination of this cupid colorway i'm gonna call that because it's valentine's so as for the material of the pg6 it comes with this very textile mesh upper especially around the toe area of the sneaker you can see here it's a very soft mesh there's no fusing around the forefoot part i think the main material that will give durability around the toe area is actually the outsole that goes up around the toe area and on the lateral and medial side so that your toe will be protected and actually on the tip of the textile it's a little bit harder here compared on the top of the toe box so maybe there's an extra layer of fabric here to give it more structure around this area as for the lateral part and middle part of the midfoot it's actually a screen mesh but it's not see-through there's a fabric behind that screen mesh and of course they use screen mesh here to give extra durability and of course support laterally on the sneakers when you're doing lateral cuts so aside from the screen mesh that will give lateral support as you can see there's two lace loops here on the first two layers of the lacing system it is actually like wings it goes down to the footbed here so that it will give you extra lateral support and middle support and really pull your foot down to the footbed so instead of the wings being exposed they hid it and gave this subtle detail here this pattern that you can see on both sides of the sneaker which will give you midfoot support lateral support of course and really pull you down to the footbed which i think made the pg6 looks cleaner in my opinion they didn't put the wings outside the design is not outside but they just added some little touch of design here with the same pattern found on the lace loops here so you can find it on both sides of the sneaker of course another nice thing about this colorway i'm not sure if it has the same touch to all colorways but i doubt that i think on special colorways they will have this kind of stitching that you can find here in the lateral part this butterfly here and of course the swoosh is also embroidered which is really nice and there's two more butterflies here they're all embroidered and of course there's some leather material here i think this is just synthetic leather but nonetheless it still looks good and one thing that i really like on the pg6 the first thing that i noticed when i were i tried it out here in my floor is the tongue you can see how well padded the tongue of the pg6 is 
it's really thick it's like a blanket from the tip of the tongue to the end part of the tongue it is really padded so step in comfort around the tongue area very very comfortable and that's not the only thing that's really padded on the pg6 this part this material is also very well padded you can bend it a bit but it's really thick with foam inside and there's enough achilles pillows inside it's very comfortable around your ankle especially the tongue part and even on the side part of your ankle the pg6 is a very comfortable sneaker to wear and don't think you need any break in time on the materials of the pg6 because it's ultra comfortable when you're wearing it and going back to the lacing system of the pg6 there's an extra hole here on the last lace loop so if you want more coverage around your ankle you can move the lacing system down a bit more so that it kind of hugs your foot more instead of just lacing it at the top which is the default lacing system of the pg6 the insole that came with this is just an ordinary insole but it has a very nice graphic it has a backboard with a heart and a ball with the same arrow that going through the ball and it's going through the hoop and on the left pair you can see cupid there that you saw in the box and of course the pg6 came with this tag guys xdr rubber so this is an asia release ep version so pg6 nrg ep so this has extra durable rubber let me know if you have the pg6 if we have the same ep version so we'll talk about the also later but going back to the upper when i was just trying it out here hill containment was really nice even though this part is really soft but the heel plate the plastic plate that covers the heel it goes all the way here and you can feel the plastic here to give you extra heel containment so that goes on both sides so your heel and ankle are very well covered now let's move on to the major change on the pg line because on almost all pgs there was a zoom unit and on the last two of course there's air a full length air on the pg5 and the 4 and now the pg6 didn't use any air or zoom in the sneaker but they changed it up into a full length react foam so when i tried it here the first impression that i got on the react foam of the pg6 is it's not the same react foam that you find in the gt runs the epic react it's more on the middle part of the presto react and on the epic react so it's a lot softer in my opinion correct me if i'm wrong so i think this is nike's answer to the nitro injected foams that a lot of sneaker companies that are using now i think they just named it react but i think this might be a nitro ejected foam because it kind of feels like that so of course i'll be playing with them i'll let you know how it feels right now i was just walking around here in my floor i can feel the impact protection but the bounce is not yet there so hopefully when i use it the bounce will eventually show up or when i heat the react foam it will become a lot softer and a lot bouncier it's exposed here at the heel you can see the react pattern here and it's also exposed around the medial part as for the lateral part it is caged with the outsole that kind of wraps and goes up here of course the outsole goes up to give you lateral support and kind of cups your heel too laterally so i'll give you an update on that on my performance review or maybe drop by my instagram if you haven't followed me yet there i usually post stories and I give updates on the sneaker that I test there first before I give the full performance review. So hopefully you follow me at I am Mark Chess. Now going back to the sneaker, let's talk about the outsole of the PG6. The outsole kind of looks like the ones that you can see on the Epic React, the symbols here. But on the outsole, you can see some patterns. There's a radial pattern here at the ball of your foot. And that's with the pattern of the outsole. It looks like the chains are the symbols on the React foam that you can find here. Kind of looks like that, but they added some more lines in between those chains. So you can see some radial patterns or circular patterns here around the middle part of the outsole. And the feel of it here in my floor, it was gripping really nicely. 
So that's a good sign. Hopefully it translates to the same in the wooden floor or even on a dusty floor. I'll give you an update on that. Of course, the outsole on this version is EP, so this is extra durable rubber. And you can see PG's logo at the side here. Yeah, that's PG's logo. You can see at the side part of the outsole, which is really nice. And there's a radial pattern at the heel of the outsole, but it's just a design. There's no zoom or air in that area. Basically, as for the outsole right now, it looks very promising. But as for the extra durable rubber, the rubber seems to be very pliable. It bends, so that's a really nice thing if you're playing indoors. But I'm not sure yet if I use this outdoors, if the snobs will hold up because it's really sliced in half. So I'll give you an update on that, but they're pretty pliable. I'm not sure if they will tear on rough surfaces. So let's wait and see. But as for indoor courts, I think it will grip really nicely because the rubber compound is pliable and the grooves are deep, but the patterns are really separated from each other. So let's wait and see. And as for midfoot support, I think there's a plastic piece here or plate, a torsional plate, which I think is just a short plate here around the midfoot to give extra stability to the sneaker and will give us extra torsional support. As for the sizing of the PG6, go true to size for regular footers and wide footers go half a size up. So if you have the PG5, PG4s, go with the same size with the PG6 and I think you're good to go. As for the weight of the PG6, they're pretty light because the foam that they use here is React and React usually is a very light foam. I think I don't have my weighing scale here, but I think the weight will be around 400 grams if I'm not mistaken because it's pretty light. The price of the PG6 is 6,200 pesos or that's around 120 US dollars. So pretty affordable sneaker. And of course, it's now available here in the Philippines over at the nike.com site. If you are from here, there are some sizes left on this colorway because this is the initial launch of the PG6 colorway. So I was really happy to be able to cop this pair. So if you have the PG6 and if you have played with them, let me know in the comments down below how it performs and how it feels. Let me know how you think about this colorway specifically. Do you like them? For me, I really like the design of this colorway. I really like colors on my sneakers if you haven't noticed yet in this channel. So let me know what you think about this sneaker, guys. So this has been Marches once again. Thank you for dropping by. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.